Hello, Mike. Charlotte. <laughs> Hiya. You look very happy. Yeah, I'm in a plane. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Alex. Welcome on board. Thank you. Hello. That's it. Record the greatest aircraft safety announcement, then perform the greatest aircraft safety demonstration. Your announcement must be in an accent. <laughs> your announcement must be in an accent or language other than your own. And your demonstration must be unforgettable. You have 20 minutes, the time starts now. Eek. Good grief. Do you understand the task? I, I'm afraid I do. Is, this is Lorraine Kelly. This is the greatest safety announcement you'll ever hear. So I've got to do it like an accent. Which or, is... or a different language. Do you speak any other language? Yeah. Uh, petite part of one français. Oh, right. Yeah. Stay in your seats and stay facing forward. Forward. Cheryl Cole. South Shields. Forward. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Charlotte's uh, children's TV show really, really taking form. We're in form, a plane, though, isn't boys it? and girls. Oh, are we this week, Charlotte? <laughs> I'm in a plane. Eek. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> the end. Um, Jamali, that is one sweet French accent. Yeah, yeah, and that's, I, I, I can't say a lot. Well, a cheval. A merci. Merci beaucoup. Il est, dans, il est dans le jardin. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? OK, so we're going to see five hopefully unforgettable aircraft safety announcements. And first of all, we're going to see a hint of Jamali and a snifter of Lee. Good luck. Bonjour. Any aircrafty? <laughs> well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Peregrine Twat Custard, not the board of flight. And if you look out of your window to the right, you'll just see... Uh, in the distance there, Mount Everest, which is uh, a little bit of a concern, given that we're going from Heathrow to New York. It's a bon crash, a life jacket, a bonito summer. In the unlikely event of the plane landing on water, and I, of course, when I say landing, I do, of course, mean crashing, uh, the underneath your seat, you'll find a really, really long snorkel. Uh, and you're going to need that. Come on to the bell. Je m'appelle. Calage et tout. Je suis en. La mer. In the unlikely event of a sudden evacuation, please make sure you do use the toilets. <laughs> Obviously, just a little bit of a light hearted joke there to make you feel calm. Um, but seriously, if you do need a shit, please use the toilets. The fire exits are situated um, above your heads and will drop down from the ceiling. Or is that the oxygen masks? I can't remember, but please... Uh, please remember, the chances of survival are slim. So don't forget, peanuts are available. Have a nice flight. Bonjour. Au revoir. Come on to the bed. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I think I would be very happy to take off now. <laughs> Thank you, Jamali. Ah, man. Um, when you said before we saw the film that you didn't speak that much French, uh, because I'd seen your first pronunciation and was impressed by it, I thought Jamal is just being modest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't being modest. No, but I was surprised that actually you got some words. I don't think we can count aircrafty. <laughs> aircrafty, that's pretty French, hombre. You said welcome, oh, a, welcome aboard, <laughs> welcome aboard the aircrafty. Yeah. And then Facts. You, and then we said, what's your name? How old are you? <laughs> Clear and concise. I just, I'm just trying to spread your audience more to France. <laughs> Get a European audience. <laughs> Thank you. Um, who's this guy? Who's this character? 
I hated him, by the way. Oh, thank you. I counted four times that you predicted the demise of all the passengers. Well, isn't that what all safety announcements are? They only talk you through the worst-case scenarios, always. And that's what I was doing. I was just pushing it a little bit further. You pushed it a bit further in that you said that everyone was going to die <laughs> and that the chances of making it to the other side were virtually zero. In a crash, that is probably true. Then they can relax. Because, actually, if you start thinking, what do I need to do if it crashes? If you go, oh, actually, nothing, I'll probably die. You actually enjoy the flight. <laughs> <laughs> OK, who's next? It's time now to look at and listen to Charlotte and Sarah. This is the greatest safety announcement you'll ever hear, accompanied by the greatest aircraft safety demonstration. Stay in your seats and stay facing forward if you think this is the greatest safety announcement you've ever heard. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bleado! Margarita Terrera! Golden Airlines! Keep your luggage in the overhead lockers if you agree. If you don't agree, get up and jump out of your nearest window. Your choice, a free world. <laughs> Good to see you're all still here. Clap with me. Click with me. Off we go. A pause. <laughs> 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 your flight. So the, the challenge was the greatest? Yes. Greatest stewards announcement. Had to be unforgettable as well. So what part of greatest were you attempting? No, unforgettable. Ah, uh, you, you put more emphasis on unforgettable. I mean, I can't do accents or speak another language. Uh, so I, it, that's what it ended up as. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, it is difficult to justify. But <laughs> it's an unforgettable safety announcement. <laughs> and if I saw that announcement, I'd never forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte is hiding from you. <laughs> Why? It's not like she's done yet another performance on a children's TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Clap with me, click with me. <laughs> uh, that, that can be Usha's catchphrase, Spice maybe. It up. <laughs> <laughs> this was the task she apologised about most. She apologised to everyone in the end. Have you apologised personally to Lorraine Kelly yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. yes. I've written her an email and I haven't heard back. <laughs> <laughs> The last person we're going to see is the person who looks more like a pilot than any actual pilot. It's Mike Wozniak. <laughs> Guten Tag. Welcome in unser Flugzeug. With Mr. Aeroplane Airways. Bitte holen diese Ding, falls ein überraschen werden. Schau mal, ein Plastik Ding unter dein Boot ist. Es ist nicht. Es ist kein Pferd. Schau mal, ein Mann mit Anzug und Schnurrbart. Hilfe! <laughs> Es ist nicht ein Parachute. Danke. Ich mochte Fleisch mit Käse und weiß nicht, wo der Bahnhof liegt. Evoking the sitcoms of the 1970s there. I don't know how much of that was genuine German. Quite a lot, I think. It's basically every German word I can, I can remember from GCSE German. And he was a cheeky little sausage, wasn't he? He had a bit of sass. <laughs> Did you enjoy Schnorbart? I enjoyed Schnorbart. Schnorbart. I enjoyed him displaying his backside, <laughs> which, of course, <laughs> with Mike, as we know, is a dangerous activity. Oh, is that, that on the same day? It was about an hour before it happened. <sighs> That's the sort of last recorded footage of... <laughs> <laughs> my tushy in its sweetest era. <laughs> Before it moved to a very different part of life. <laughs> I, even though he was um, predicting death, he was such a jaunty character. I, I guess I'm going to judge these on who I'd be most comforted getting in a plane with. And for some reason, I would be less unnerved by Mike's character. So five sweet points. Well done, Mike. I would rather be in the company of Charlotte's children's TV presenter and Jamal's 
smooth-voiced Frenchman Ooh. than I would be with these two absolute nutters. So the four points. Four points to Charlotte Lunatics, Jamali. Three. Three points to Lee and Sarah, but there five points to the Tushy in its sweetest era. Sweet yeah. Tushy action. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.